Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away and happy Thursday. Today, we're gonna have not seen this for a while, we're gonna be doing the next six stages of the Hashtag Artworks release, a build, the Batman Tumblr. So that means we're gonna be doing stages 47 to 52. So uh, no idea what's in the packs at all. I haven't opened them yet, so we're gonna discover that together. Now, I don't know if this is still available. I have put a link in the video description, and there's also a QR code on the screen, so you can check that out for yourself. Uh, but I'm gonna jump straight into it, because I said we haven't seen this for six weeks. So without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> You know, the thing I like about these six weeks deliveries is that you get a whole ton of magazines to actually do. Uh, the thing I don't like, though, is it does seem like an age since we last received these. But here we go. This is stage 47. And here's the magazine. And we're going to be doing the um, looks like we're going to do shock shock absorbers, putting these into place. So uh, I will need to bring up some parts of the vehicle we've already created, create these shocks just like this. So by the end, it's looking just like that there. So, we haven't seen this for a while. This is the front end of the tumbler here. Let's put that to one side and open up the box that comes in this stage. To start off, we're gonna need the left steering bar cover looking like this. I know this is the left one because it's stamped with an L in the inside. This is the left side. We do need to make sure that this is in this cradle just here. And then all I'm gonna do is take this and this is gonna go over the top just there like that. Now I do love the way things are packaged in this. We've got some AM screws. Everything is wrapped in paper rather than plastic. Turn it upside down. Because I'm going into metal, I put it in some oil and we need two AM screws to hold this in place here. And with that side in, I do like how we can just flip this backwards and forwards like that. We're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. So once again, make sure that this is cradled in that little section there. Put the Stop over the top, and again, AM screws to hold this into place. So, when they're both in, I can just put this again to one side. And we've got four metal springs here. These are metal, and some shock absorbers here, which are just going to go down the top. So we've got one, two, three, and finally... Number four. Now, if I bring this car back up here, on the shock absorber stalks that you can see here, we've got some bushes to put on. So make sure they go all the way down, one here and one that side there. Then I'm gonna take one of the shocks like this, put that over the whole thing, and then that is gonna be clamping once it's in going to be a hard push to get it in here ah, into that section just there now i'm going to be holding that in from the outsides with abm screws these are in a bag like this so to save a little time i'm actually going to put this one in as well again i am going into metal and ensure that goes all the way through Perfect. Put one in the other side. And that's that side in there. Just gonna do the same on the other side. You know what I really like? I like how you've got the rusted effect on the springs. They don't look new. That's, that's a brilliant little bit of detail there. Okay, so once again, you really do have to push this. Oops, get it in the uh, hole. And that's one in. And that's the second one in, and once again, screws ABM each side. This is the last one just going in here. And with those two in place, that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 48 here, here's the magazine. Let's have a flick through. And we're going to be doing the uh, elements for your tumbler's jet nozzle few things here we're just going to be piecing this nozzle together just like this so at the end it's looking like that nice quick stage this one and here's the parts for that you see what i mean about everything wrapped in paper 
So in this bag here, we have a clear lens like that. What I want to do is put, just put the clear lens into this section here. So it just drops in, making sure it's flat in there. Perfect. I'm then going to be taking this section here and putting this into here like that. And then finally to hold all of that in, we've got this section here, which is just going over the top, just like that. So that's how this should be looking. Now I've got four screws to put in here. These are LP screws. These go on that internal screw holes there. If I uh, move my big hands out of the way, you'll be able to see on the top camera, just the internal ones there. Have a... Uh, actually just zoomed out my camera and this is the last screw going in here and that is all there is to do in that stage in stage 49 here's the magazine showing you everything in there and as you can see we've now got the tail which looks like this, another quick stage by the look of it. We are linking up the uh, light that we had last time. So we're gonna be putting this into here, putting some details on. So again, by the end, that's now looking like that. Let me go get the light. So I've brought up all the wires. Remember we tested these on the board? It's this one that I want, which is the uh, LEDs that come around. So I'm gonna detach this from plug 19. Let's open up this box. Got some little details in some of these bags, like that. And these are screws. So what I wanna do is take this section looking like this and the section we created earlier. And I wanna line this up so that the holes on this side are able to be accessed through this side here to put screws in. And we're gonna be holding that in place with these AP screws. And I'm gonna need four of them just in the holes here. Hopefully you can see that on the top camera. Now when that's in, we're going to be taking this light. You see there's already holes in that. I'm going to match these holes with the holes on this section just here like that. So the wire is able to come out through this section here. Again, that's going to be held in with screws. And this time it's the CP screws that I've got here. You do want to make sure that the LEDs are facing down. So it's lighting that lens that we put in. And there's the second screw going in there. And that's just a case of putting this base on, which means we've got to thread the wire through here. This is going to fit on here just like that. Perfect. And once again, that's going to be held in with four CP screws. All I'm going to be doing then is putting on the towel supports. They are stamped left and right. The left is going in this side. So it's just a push in and it is quite firm in there. So you're not gonna need to glue that. And then the right side one, which is stamped with an R, is gonna go on that side just there. So that looks like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Okay, so this is stage 50. Let's turn through the magazine. And we're gonna be starting the body for that turbine, I guess, the engine body, looking like this. We're gonna be attaching what we created to this shroud. So by the end, it's now looking like that. Big long box, this one. Let's see what's in here. Basically, we've got the two sides of that shroud there, and we've got some CP screws. So I wanna take this one first, which is the left side. Again, it's stamped with an L there. It's gonna hold the wire like this because I'm gonna be putting this into place. It's actually going to go into this section, probably best on the top camera, just here. Now these holes need to fit over these stalks, which isn't going to be easy. But uh, you put it in at an angle like this and then bend it down, it should go in. God, that was actually harder than it seemed to be. But there we go, they're both all on those stalks there. I want to guide this wire here out through the hole on just this side here, or the semicircular hole. Then it's just a case of piecing the other side on, which is going on top here. Making sure I haven't pinched that wire. Got some CP screws, and I want to just put one 
at the top here first. Definitely need a long shaft screwdriver for this. And then free in these holes here. That's quite a big chunky thing now looking like that. Again, if I show you on my head, look, that is big. That's the end of that stage. In stage 51, here's the magazine. So I've got a bit of frame in this one. Let me double check. Uh, we've got the uh, reinforcement frame looking like this with some clips and some screws. It looks like we are just going to be putting these clips onto that frame here. So that's what it's looking like at the end of this stage. Not a lot to do in these packs, is there? But here are those clips. And wrapped up in here is the completely metal frame. That's quite heavy. This vehicle is going to be quite a heavy vehicle. Now, just so you know, when you do put these in, there are different kinds. You've got one with a longer body at the back. The longer body at the back ones go towards this end here. I want it to be this way round with these stalks facing upwards here. And they have got a little keyhole pattern. So they can only go in one way. So if I put these in where they go, these go kind of like that. And again, the other one's just going underneath it onto these sections just there. So that's how that's gonna look. And we're gonna screw them in from the other side just with some CP screws. So again, this is gonna be another very quick stage. They're all gonna fall out, don't worry about that. So I'll get these in. I think I will use my PH1 screwdriver just to ensure they're in nice and tight. And I'll get the other two in. And when they're in, that's looking just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. So in the last stage of this pack, this is stage 52. Here's the magazine. And it looks like we've got the uh, fireproof bulkhead. So we're doing the bulkhead here, putting both parts together, which we just had there, screwing in the, uh, what are these? the uh, actuators they're calling them <laughs> putting the uh, turbine engine in that we did there so that's now looking just like that and as you can see in the next pack there we've got this section here but that will be coming probably in six weeks so i'll just get everything out here again massive pieces here and just so you know all these i can't even pronounce the word actuators <laughs> these are all metal you can probably hear that jangling around so the first thing I want to do is I want to take this side of that plate and what we created here and just put these uprights through these holes here. So that's going to fit nice and flush in there like that. We turn it over. So it's looking like that there with these poking through. We've got different size actu well, I'm gonna actuators. I hope I can say that properly. So I'm just going to match up the longer ones to the shorter ones. So... We've got two slightly shorter ones and two slightly longer ones. So the shorter ones are going to be going at the bottom here. Now I need to make sure I put them the right way around. You see this has got a tab on it there. So we want the tab to go this way. So when it's in, it's going to be up like that. This is just for the shorter ones at the moment. And this one will be going in there like that. Now these are held in with ADP screws from the outside. So that's going in here. Now you know you've got it in the right way, because if you have a look at the close up there, it's flush when it's standing up to that side. If you were to spin it round, that little bit of metal there won't be flush. Do the same on the other side. So they're both in, and you know you've got them in right because they shouldn't be able to go back here and actually pick up the whole thing, but they should be able to fold down like that. All we have to do is do the same thing on the front, so this time, this is going to go in this way, like this, and screw these in. They do have a tendency to wanting to stand up on their own like this. And there you go. That's all of those in there. So as you can see, they can fold down that way, <laughs> but they can't go the other way. Okay. All I'm going to do then is take the turbine we did last time and with the cable here, it's going to go through the hole in the middle. 
And if you look at the lugs of the top camera, you can see how this is going to go. It's going to go this way round into the holes there. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to be attaching this with CP screws. Now these go through this metal section just here. And there's four of these to get into place. Just these two at the bottom here. And there you go. That's in place. So it looks just like that. That's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. So let me give you an idea of how big that is. Looks like an eye, doesn't it? But uh, we've done quite a bit of building, but not a lot of building, if that makes sense here, because obviously we've done that. And then we fitted the suspension into the front end here as well. Both of these parts are really heavy. It's a testament to how much metal is actually in this. Uh, so there you go. Got to wait for another six weeks now, but I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.